Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker and this is Tech15. Today we're looking at DropTask, which is a great tool for organizing your to-do lists and other projects. This is the homepage here at droptask.com. If you want to dip your toe in the water and look around a, a little bit before you join after watching this video, this is an intro video here and if you scroll down on the page they have more details. But for this video we're going to go ahead and log in and show you a little bit more about it. Now, First of all, there's two different levels of Drop Task. There's the free level and the Drop Task Pro level. You can see there's a nice list under features that shows what items you can do under the free and under the pro levels. Even the free has a pretty decent amount of features, including unlimited tasks and groups, up to five projects, which you'll see in a moment what that what the difference between a project, a group, and a task is, notifications, the the ability to collaborate with people on your projects, and a variety of other features. Now we are going to go back to the home page and log in. Alright, so this is what my current drop task account looks like. Now you might note, remember that there's the different levels of projects, tasks, and groups. Projects are the greater thing. This is one project to-do list. This is a group, and these are the tasks. While it may seem a bit limiting for the free level to only have, I think it was five projects, you can do an awful lot within each project. I believe there's an unlimited amount of tasks and groups per project. Now, these three are the default groups that I got when I signed up for an account. You can edit them, you can add things to them, or if you just have a different group that you wanna do, you can create one. Easy as that. Click and drag. Name your group. You can change whatever color it is. So it's easy as that to create a group. And then tasks. Click and drag. For example, a task. Make drop task video. Now, when you click on a task, you can also edit where it is in status. So I'm marking that as in progress. And each time you change a feature of your task, it changes the appearance slightly. For example, over here on the to do someday, you can see the look into internship options has this little band around the outside. That's because I added two subtasks to it. So it's showing the subtasks splitting the outer circle in half. You can also update the urgency, the importance, and then here's another cool thing. Say I need to do another task as part of this project. But it's not necessarily the same amount of urgency or the same amount of effort. You can shrink it. And you can move them around if you have preferences on where you want them to be. They stay within their little bubble quite efficiently. But you just add a task, however many you want, and you can do all sorts of things including add a due date, assign people to the task, so if you're using a group project you can show who is doing what task, you can add tags, you can attach a file, you can add reminders, you can move it to another project, well I don't have any other projects right now, but it's nice to know you can switch things between, or you can just delete it. You can add descriptions, uh, comments, and here you can see also the history of the item, so you can see who edited it, who did what. But let's say I want to assign someone to a project. Now at the moment I just have me, but you can add, I think, up to two people even on the free level. You just click and drag your little initials here onto an item and see you've got a little tag there. You can see down here now that this particular item I've played with a little bit more I changed the status to in progress, changed the urgency, changed the importance and then over here in the projects area you can see the name of the project you can rename the project, you can do a bunch of different editing here you can also connect your drop task account to other accounts such as Google Tasks, Google Calendar, Dropbox, etc. Also, there's different views for your projects. So here's the group view. We have all our nice little bubbles, but you can also do list view, which separates it very nicely by urgency and see the coloring still shows what bubble it was from. And you can also show activity view, which shows what you've done recently, as well as comments made attachment shared, completed tasks. Double clicking also not only creates a task within the bubble but also outside of it. 
and you can show or hide different levels. You can filter things by people assigned to it, by due date, by status, by urgency, importance, by effort, by tags. There's quite a variety of different ways to organize your various projects. This was Tech15's video on drop task. I hope this helps and that you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.